Hello, welcome back to my channel. It seems like everything seems right here. So, okay, uh, today I want to talk about um, or make a video or a podcast about um, like a because if you don't know what I've been doing, I've been doing video and podcast at the same time, and I really I find that this day it seems like. Um, podcast is like people like to listen to long conversation and i find that like the way that i've been doing my video slash podcast is not doing that and that is something that i want to do a little bit more in depth it's like i want to do a little bit longer video uh than before so uh, certainly that's the thing that i wanted to do and then i know that like on youtube they're on on the opposite end <laughs> while on youtube that try to make shorts anyway. Um, as far as I know, shorts are only available in in India and America. Most of the people who are outside of India or America, they won't be able to uh, use shorts. You know, obviously, um, YouTube is like trying to make short as the thing that they copy TikTok. It's just like the same thing that Instagram have copied uh, Snapchat, so they could knock them out and and stuff like that. So. Um, so the format of my podcast and my YouTube video probably would be a little bit more like a like solo cast at first. At, at this moment, I don't, I only have myself, so I couldn't be able to find enough people to work for me or I, I couldn't pay someone to work for me so I can book guests and, and, and local business owner and stuff like that. Those are all the things that I wanted to do in the future. I, I, I mean, I just wanted to know about uh, other business people on, on, in Toronto area, so or, or like in Canada, or in North America, or even the world. I just love to know more business people and to know you guys and stuff like that. That's the main purpose of um, this like video or like podcast. So more on, I mean, um, so I would try to pitch my channel. Why is it different than most of the business um, or reseller? on Amazon that you will see because most of the reseller, most of the Amazon selling on the internet, they tell you what to do. They basically tell you do this, do this and do that. It's more like a salesperson. It's like, if you give me $5,000 and I will be able to guarantee you the result and stuff like that. And I think most of the things in life is not guaranteed. So I don't think it's a good idea to tell you do ABC or uh, and, and one, two, three steps like this because it's, always depends on many situations on many different things right so even if i tell you um all the different video that i have in the past like not selling book is a bad idea i mean selling book is a bad idea it ruin your business life it also depends right if you can like absolutely like living off the street you don't have any money maybe book is a good idea because a book tend to be very heavy people just don't like them people want to throw them away and stuff like that you can find some like charge to sell you know that i mean that's a good way to sell it and first as you get some like used toys you still have to like you can get it but you need to make it a very good condition before you um you can sell it on amazon right a book you know when they use it they know a used book you can grade them and say good or bad that's okay people really like whatever as long as a book that readable right they understand used book is like come with all sort of situation and book people kind of tend to understandable about the book as long as they they get the thing they want so given said that uh let's get to the topic that i want to talk about uh today <laughs> which is um why engineer make a good businessman i know i know i mean like I am a very engineer person. I like engineering idea. I like um, like how people do things. I know I like all the intricacy of building a business and stuff like that. Right. And um, I don't think that it has been talked enough. And like I, I go back to my earlier point saying that most of the business tend to tell you what to do instead of telling you what to think about how to make decision and how can you potentially use that logic to navigate on different situation right so 
I do think um, that is a problem I, and I do want to fix it. So um, as this podcast title, Why Engineer Make a Good Businessman, is meant to do this. So let's talk about um, the similarity, right? So business people, they have to solve problem. That the first of all, if you want to have a business, you do need to solve a problem of your customer. Like, for example, uh, Uber, right? If you, a very simple idea, which is that if you live in North America, not like, or like not any mega city, probably not even that, like probably live outside of New York. If you live outside of New York in North America, um, you don't see the idea of Uber is a good idea. It, because bef, bef, uh, before Uber happened, you can see taxi everywhere. And that's that's a unique thing about the New York City. I'm personally from Hong Kong, so I understand that Hong Kong is also taxi everywhere, right? So that's why it's still not very popular or the government banned it. So, but given that, that if you're not from the big dense city like Asia, you would find Uber is a good idea as a surfing uh, the gap between owning a vehicle and a public transportation. In, because in the past, I remember that even just 10 years ago, like if you go to places, you need to take um, take public transit. Even you go to far places, you need to take public transit. The public transit is not always well developed. Even I, I see some of the people saying that Toronto have a good public transit, it's, that isn't true. If anyone tell you that, that definitely not true. They either never visit Asia or they never visit Europe. If they visit of those two places, they would know that we sucks anyway. And so what it means is that like, if you go to some places that between the stop of the bus stop, you need to either walk to there or you need to um, basically like no way you can get there or it take a extra time, right? So the idea of an only piece of a vehicle, which is like, um, I mean, you can you can argue that before Uber happened, you can call taxi, exactly, right? But if you live outside of like downtown core in Toronto, you won't be able to get a taxi because even if you call that, I mean, in the old day, you need to pick up a telephone and then you need to call someone and someone would pick it up on the other end and you can talk to them and then they would uh, and they would a promise time they would come but the problem with that because like you are far away from where they commonly make money and they don't charge you any special rate for coming to your place either sometimes they take forever for them to come or they never show up or anything like that so uh is never reliable, especially in, I hear so many people say that, especially in the winter time, maybe they want to call a taxi uh, in some nowhere and they, they couldn't walk home, you know, uh, the, the taxi just won't show up. It's just because that, like, it didn't worth it, right? And you can say it's a technology problem, but most importantly, it's more about the problem of not be able to serve the customer in the middle. Like I said, not owning a vehicle, and just uh, go to the places those buses or like the, uh, won't go or the bet between the stop or the time or hours of the service time. Those are the things that the customer would, would be definitely benefit, right? So it's like serving a customer. So um, as an engineer, like go back, uh, serving a customer, when you're serving a customer, you are solving a problem for them. So what is the best solution of solving a problem. You can have a di few different way. You can use mathematics, you can have different modeling, but like most of them, if you are redesign whole process for someone to use it, it's called engineering something, right? So that's why they're called social engineering. That's why they call financial engineering. That's why they call also engineer. Basically engineering is the, is the way of practice to establish a whole process for people to do things. If you're a business owner, if you're a entrepreneur, I mean, I, I kind of find that business is kind of confusing concept when you talk to different people, uh, people have different idea what business is. Because I, I would talk about as a government and business is more like if you make money and then like you buy something and then you make money and you serve someone. That is like technical business. So even if you're a teller, you, you kind of like a businessman, 
especially if you're in the acquisition or the investment firm, you're definitely a businessman. But I don't think it's a very good way to look at it because those are people are just a gear of the whole process, right? But I'm referring the highest end of the entrepreneur, right? Like I give you the example that like Uber have uh, engineer the whole process so those are the good like the top end businessman if you are a business owner if you are a good business owner you're playing at the highest level you should be working on this on all level not on like I'm not saying that you shouldn't be a manager you shouldn't be researching product you shouldn't be any of those you should know all of those but once you know all of those very well you should graduate the next process you should have a person or you train someone that disciple that know what you're doing to do the take over a day-to-day -day task as a then as a owner of the business you need to look at the overall view of what is happening so then you can improve it and you can know what the ship is going where's the wave is going that's why it's often saying that if you're the ceo if you are a, or a top business owner um, or, or executive you have to know the wave uh, that the, the boat is sailing selling you have to know what is ahead you have to know where it's going and all those kind of things right and those kind of things often are not talked about on the public media that's what i feel and they also they all kind of manager telling employee what to do and i'm never a fan of it and they never explain why they're doing this even if you like give them a why you're asking that and doing that they kind of like have no idea right so i'm never a fan of it so today i want to share the most basic engineering process everyone could um borrow from a very very practical engineering approach so what engineer do is that they usually do the break down a lot of the complicated process into very simple things like you can see the rocket that behind me which i love and if you don't know about this rocket this is called apollo 11 which is the one that actually sent human to the moon and it have the moon lander and uh, uh, neil armstrong and buzz aldrich was on this um was on this like apollo 11. anyway i think the um the body that actually go to the moon uh, uh, would in washington aviation museum or something like that like uh, some kind of museum once america is opened back up I, I definitely want to go to that museum anyway uh so come back in here um one of the thing that um the pauses or deciding anything we have uh, which, which have four steps which is called brainstorm we search prototype and final build so what brainstorm is um, is that if you have a problem that you want to solve let's say um, for example I want to build a uh, better research approach um, no no let, let's don't do it too specific let's say um we do a more board idea let's say um how maybe we do an example of food right um that's what i i want to show you how everyone could improve on it which is let's say food for example uh when we talk about food what are the common problem that we have right uh we could like we could have all sort of way and but let's talk about the pacific hungry let's say uh food is usually like hunger or maybe cooking or maybe how people enjoy food maybe how people love food maybe people use food as a food wall maybe people like food those are the all sort of direction right so we couldn't have a definite answer unless unless we come with the one of the most important thing is requirement right so if you want to make anything in the brainstorm stage first of all you need to care about it you care about enough to think through it that is one of the things that um engineer need to do so that's why you see elon musk like he always talk about the project that he love about and he want to care about that's why he say uh, if something is very unlikely but if you care enough you would do it it's the same thing if you don't care about the project you won't be able to uh, in investigate or spend time to build that process right so it's the same thing if you are not a 
person that loves business, it's very, very hard for you to use this approach. If you think about business, it's about money in, money out, it's just, and you don't really care about making a better process for your business, then probably this is not a video for you. This is not a podcast for you. That's what I think. I mean, have a drink. All right. So if you do care, if you do come with a brainstorm, then you need to think about the requirement. What are the things that you need to have? Or what are the things that we don't have to work on this problem? For example, um, maybe we talk about, uh, f like again, food. We talk about, let's say we're low budget. We don't have a lot of money. Let's talk about I um, maybe cooking skill is a constraint, right? Maybe, uh, so if we have too many constraints that we cannot work on, we just, and then if, if we have so many constraints, maybe that's not the area that we should innovate or or stuff like that. So let's say it's a three constraint, maybe um, we need to be quick, low budget and healthy, right? So what are the things that easily can fit this um, category, right? So we can think about definitely it's like if like when you talk about eating, you can you can eat it inside or eat outside. Definitely inside is a lot cheaper. So that is probably the direction that we are looking at. We could go the direction of going outside, could find some of the cheapest food that you can have, but probably won't fit the requirement healthy, right? So um, so we need to think about um, probably the time constraint, the budget constraint would make it a likely eating inside or cooking inside is a more preferable solution. Of course, if you have different knowledge, you know that some of the some places that in your area know it's like very healthy, very cheap is the best um, and you can have a different conclusion. But for me, I use my personal example, it is like definitely eating inside then when it's eating inside and we can think about the next phase is called research phase. Research phase is that um, how long, I mean, you would because of we talk about time constraint, right? And we need healthy, right? And we need to talk about um, like the budget, right? So we talk about what are the best time constraint and what are so probably the food that it, it like a French cuisine, probably it's not the type that we're going with. Maybe we're going to eat something. Maybe we're eat, going to eat raw, those are the, different example, right? So that is something just off my head. And if you know more, you can you can start to Google it on different area. You can Google what are the things that can eat raw, what are the best type you can eat raw, what are the things that you can, what people eat raw, maybe what time meal prep that people do. Those are all of the possible solution. So let's follow me here. This is my solution. So healthy, what is healthy? Usually people talk about vegetable healthy, right? So let's say broccoli is healthy. People always talk about broccoli healthy. So we we nail it down broccoli. Then when we talk about broccoli, how can we eat broccoli? Maybe we can steam them. Maybe we can boil them. Maybe we can eat, eat them raw. So it's all three ways. You, you can also even go into nutrition, right? You can look at which way is more nutrition and it's like lost the most it would lose the least amount of nutrition while you're cooking it. And, and from my research in the past before, it's like eating it raw power is the best, right? So if we pick the solution of eating it raw, it would be healthy, time-saving and low budget. It seems like one of the very good solutions that we could have, and we can always um, we can explore more, but I don't have the time. Definitely you need to do the research and maybe eat raw or maybe it would benefit or not benefit or eat um, what a different way to eat raw or maybe uh, does it have any salad sauce you can go with it or maybe homemade salad sauce, all those kind of things, right? Once, but I don't have the time to build the prototype here. If I do have the time, I would, what I definitely do is like, I will probably cook, um, 
would make a prototype of like steamed vegetable with maybe soy sauce or sesame sauce or uh, steam ones, uh, spoiled one, and also raw, and come up with few different, um, few different recipe for it. Once we have the recipe for for all of those broccoli, I would kind of pick one, which is the one that I could eat more often, or eat time. Uh, I would time all the time that I have to prepare all those meals before I would be able to um, finish it or how I would then, I would decide how often I can eat some cooking method, how often I could eat that, and also how often I could uh, probably eat mixture of it, and then I could, if I, how often I would get tired of broccoli, all these kind of things, those sort of things that I would come up with the different solution, then I would give it a try for all those kind of things. So, um, that is the that is how engineer usually works when they uh, when they think about things right so you can definitely borrow those example to put it onto your um, business business situations for example like I can give you a parallel example so you guys can understand it and realize that you instead of me telling you what to do, you need to think about for yourself and come up with a personal solution because no one can give you a personalized answer. They can give you data, but you need to make a decision yourself because you can see in my process of brainstorming, researching, I have all my preferences. I have all the things that I would willing to do, but you may not willing to do, right? So that's why I think it's like telling you right out what you should do and get to you know, from point A to point B, it is not the best solution. So I need to teach you how to think. So, um, let's say for example, um, for my business example, for very specific, I am coming to the point that work sometime, I mean, definitely at this moment it exceeds of my capacity to handle. But the thing is that because I have a wife, so she can help me out on packing and wrapping stuff. So I will be able to still go back to the normal level of working and still doing a little bit YouTube video. That's why in the last 20 days, I, I have been skipping some of the video. I, I supposed to make a lot more and I, I, I developed the process using my engineering method to do it. But anyway, so, the next step for me to scale my business, I definitely have to hire someone or beside me. So, I mean, I could think about who should I hire and who can I find and who can I, uh, what are the model, is it part-time or full-time or both, or should I be ha um, having them in my house or should I be having a place have them or like, should I be, are sending them lists or where they find all those people. I'm just thinking about all sorts of things to scale my business. And I haven't drawn my requirements, so but I, I, that's why I couldn't really be able to answer the questions. But I am doing my research on all those kind of potential brainstorm, and I'm willing to try out different solutions before I could make a conclusion, this is the one that I want, or this is the one that I use 80% of the time, or 20% of the time, 50% of the time, and all those things, or what are the potential solutions for this situation, or this person, because some person like to work, have a part-time job, some people would like to have a full-time job, some people would like to work remotely with for me and those kind of stuff, right? So um, I'm still looking at it and like the, example that I talked to you about right so um, I just I just think that like no one really tell you how to make a decision I and I do think this is a very good um, way for anyone to m make a solution without asking anyone because all they need to ask is not how they should make a decision what they should do is they should collect more data. They should collect, they should understand more different model of people solving the problem. What are the thing they're using and stuff like that. Once they know 
enough data, they could be able to, um, they could be able to like make up the decision. And that's go back to why I love to um, make YouTube video because just you guys can potentially point me out a new direction, potentially give me a new insight on something that I'm missing that I can make a decision on. So um, I, I'm planning to keep on doing this. Hopefully it would get a little bigger so I could be able to um, reach out more audience and get more feedback on business solution. And I would read more books and go to different social events to listen to what other people do. You know, it's just a part of the uh, process. But currently I can do it because it's like, oh, of course, like everyone knows the COVID and also I'm too busy and I don't even have time to read it. And I'm trying to fi fix this problem by getting up early. You know, if I don't have to pack at night into one o'clock, you know, if I do have, if I, I do have a luxury with this, I would go to bed at 10 or 10.30, so I get up at 7 or, um, I think 7, yeah, I, I, 7, most likely. I went to bed at 12 last night and I get up at 7, you know, yeah. anyway, hopefully I can get up early, go to bed early, then I can read more and get some new idea while working, probably listen to podcast so I could get new idea and stuff like that, that's how I learned so far. Uh, hopefully you guys also learn tremendously how to scale your business and hopefully you like this video and podcast talk to guy next time <laughs>